Hello everyone, in this short tutorial I will explain how you can use SciSpace Literature Review tool. At the same time you can also include the library part of the SciSpace as well as how you can use AI Copilot to ask questions on PDFs. So let's try this question here which I already uh, typed in. How does climate change impact biodiversity? First, SciSpace gives us insights from top five papers. It could be a nice start for uh, students, for researchers, if you are in the beginning of your research. On this column, SciSpace shows us the names of the papers and if it, is, uh, it, if it has PDF, you will see this PDF. And here you will see also bookmark. What does bookmark mean? Here in the library, if you created a folder, which is in my case, it's Vugar's research, I created for today's demonstration. And then you can, uh, if you go to the, to the literature search part, you can click on this, for example, let us do the, this one uh, for this climate change and its impact on biodiversity and human welfare. So if I click this bookmark button here and you will show this uh, window, small window, and you can select the collection here. And when I select Vugas Research, it is automatically added. And if I go to the library, to my own library, you will see this under this folder, you will see the, se the second article already added to my collection. Here you can also sort them, newest first, date, opened, oldest first, and alphabetical order from A to Z or the vice versa. And let us say A to Z and you can see the C comes first and I comes later. So this is a very nice feature to keep your all articles in one folder or maybe many folders or maybe you can create different folders for the different sections of your dissertation or of your academic paper. Anything else, you can keep your articles separately so you don't, know, you don't want to uh, mix them. And another important feature which I want today again show you is the AI Copilot. Basically, before AI Copilot, maybe I can also talk about a bit these columns here. As you can see, you, uh, there will be, when you search, uh, SciSpace automatically gives you uh, columns. Originally, only this column here, Insights, but I, add, I added this one here. If you want to add more columns, as you can see, the methods used, this one is added here. I added this one from here. If you want to add, for example, the contributions or summarized results or anything, TLDR that's too long, didn't read. So let's add that one. And as you can see here, automatically added this one. And mostly, uh, I watched a couple of videos and I also uh, contacted them. As far as I know, the information reflected here on are taken is taken from from the abstract part mostly so therefore i i don't use this feature uh, a lot but what feature i can suggest using is ai copilot for example uh, maybe you can read the abstract you can read the uh, introduction and conclusion part but if you want to go a bit further to ask uh, further questions then you can use this ask copilot button here if you click on this you can ask questions specifically about this paper as you can see the name of the paper that exact this paper is also here it means you are asking questions about this i would definitely suggest using this copilot instead of using these columns here because uh, to me the information given on these columns look very similar to each other therefore maybe the copilot at least in my case copilot uh, functions better a couple of words about the plans uh, with, if you, when you create an account on SciSpace, you, ba you basically join this basic plan, uh, as, the, as the name suggests. With the basic plan, you will have limited copilot messages, also the literature review searches will be limited. But if you want uh, to join the pro plan, uh, the premium plan, you can do that monthly or yearly. If you do that monthly, it will be 20. But if, if, if you want to go annual plan, it will be 12, uh, but 12 per month, but you, you pay annually. But I have also discount codes uh, which SciSpace gave me. Uh, you can find them in the description as well, but on the screen as well. So if you use Vugar 20, you will get 20% discount on monthly plan. And if you use Vugar 40, you will get 40% discount on annual plan. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well. Please also like and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your attention.